Hi everyone, it's Gally. I wanted to film a pregnancy update video for you. I've been watching a lot of pregnancy vlogs um, in this time that I've been pregnant and they've really helped me a lot because pregnancy is a really difficult time for anybody and uh, it's one of those things where you can feel really alone you feel a lot of ups and downs when you're pregnant um, you've got crazy hormones going on and it's really difficult to keep it together sometimes um, you make irrational decisions not that you make irrational decisions but you um, I suppose the best way of putting it for me at least is that I've kind of ended up over dramatizing situations um, because my hormones are playing tricks on me and making me feel really really emotional and overly sensitive yeah that's a good way of describing it you know I can see why a lot of people end up um, making their partners feel a little bit alienated when they're pregnant when I say that, I mean, I I think I've definitely been guilty of making my husband feel as though I'm just beyond help at the moment. Um, because there are times when it doesn't matter what he does and what he says, uh, I still feel rubbish and I still, and I can't, I can't be made happier very easily. Uh, I don't know if that's making any sense. I wanted to film this video for you now because um, this morning is the best I've felt in a few days. Uh, I'm 27 weeks pregnant, coming into my seventh month. Um, I experienced complications with Kaya when she was born. I was in a situation, unfortunately, where um, I had been in labour for four and a half days with her and in the end they they wanted to do a, an emergency c-section because she was getting tired and the, loads of horrible stuff was going on and, and basically um, I really, really didn't want that. I had, I'd been really clear from the start that um, I wasn't anti-drugs, I, I was fine with having whatever drugs um, that I needed at any stage. Uh, I was really mind over matter about the whole situation. I really didn't think that I was going to be in a position where I was going to struggle really badly. Um, I just thought that I'd get through it somehow. Um, a little naively, probably. Everyone's birth experience is different, obviously. And, uh, you know, I was just in an unfortunate situation where basically it was a little bit more difficult for me than I'd have liked. Um, and, uh, after four and a half days, they were like, okay, look, she needs to get out. Uh, you either need to have an epidural or you need to have a C-section. Um, we need to make a decision now. And uh, I um, I opted for the epidural um, and uh, they placed it wrong three times. That was, yeah, that was a nice experience as well. <laughs> Everything went wrong for me. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, basically, I'm not complaining. It's fine. She's healthy. She was healthy. She came out fine in the end. But it was a tricky birth for me with Kaya, my first. So, um, in light of what happened in that situation, um, this time around, they have asked me to consider having a C-section instead, um, just to avoid any complications um, like last time. I'm a bit upset about the fact that I feel like I am failing as a mother that that sounds horrible I'm not saying that everyone that has a c-section has failed as a mother I think the thing is obviously if it was if it were because of a real health issue that um I needed to have c-section if I had the placenta in the wrong place or something like that and that was the reason why, there was a medical reason why I needed to have a C-section, then obviously that would be a different situation. I'd feel like the decision had been taken out of my hands for a medical reason because that's what's best for my baby. But um, I'm in a position where I 
just feel like I've been useless and not been able to give birth properly and and they just want to make sure that I just don't end up being in hospital for as long as last time and, and that's why they kind of want to do a c-section and um, that's not a nice feeling for me um, and I think that's really added to my anxiety about this pregnancy it's been an emotional week <laughs> Um, and um, I'm quite a young mum. I'm only uh, I'm only 28, and I've already got four and a half year old. So um, I don't have a lot of friends around me that I, I can relate these problems to because um, they don't have kids. They haven't ever had kids, and they don't know what it's like to kind of go through this um, and as much as they try and sympathise for my sake because obviously they're trying to help it's still a situation where they don't necessarily really understand and um, it's a really tough situation um, I feel quite alone sometimes I don't have a good relationship with my mum I, ba I basically kind of don't really have a mum and that's a horrible thing to say I do have a mum but I don't get on with her uh, it's a tricky long story that I'm not going to go into but basically I can't go to her for any of my problems my dad's a bit of a old-fashioned dad he's um, not really the right person for me to speak to when it comes to this kind of thing um, he doesn't understand these types of things. The other day my husband was um, late coming home from work um, and I was there with my dad and my stepmom and his kids and uh, we were waiting for him to get home so that we could eat dinner and um, I broke down into tears because I thought something had happened to my husband because he's taking, he's on a motorbike coming home and um, when I started crying my dad was like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Uh, this is what I mean when I say over dramatizing the situation obviously there was no need for me to get so upset I got I was just ridiculously inconsolable and um, but you know this is this is what it's like for me at the moment I just I'm struggling to get control of my feelings it's amazing the support network that people can provide the, the support that you can feel through sharing your feelings yeah and just uh, talking about your feelings and people hearing you and helping you it's really nice I often think that um, women can be quite bitchy about one another we de we certainly do have that capacity to be very um, scathing of one another not very supportive um, you know talk behind each other's backs and things like that but then um, there are times when really do when we really do come through for one another as well, um, and um, when there's no one else that will understand what you're going through, often your girlfriends are, you know, us women talk to each other, don't we? That's amazing the way we can confide in each other, um, all all of our personal things. You know, I speak to my husband about this a lot and um, we both agree that men just don't talk to each other the way that women talk to each other. Um, they don't share their feelings with one another. They don't go to their mates and go and say, oh, I'm having a tough time with my wife at the moment. Oh, this is, this is happening. They just don't do it. Um, well, that's what he says. You know, he certainly doesn't, uh, you know, go to his mates and talk about his feelings in that way. And he says that his mates don't, do that back either so it's not like he's the only one it's it's something that's not necessarily very common amongst men to sit there you know and hypothesize about their feelings um wax lyrical um but the thing is you know us women do do it a lot and it's amazing that i think we can really help each other by just sharing so um yeah making friends is important talking rubbish now aren't I <laughs> so basically another reason why I decided to um, film this video for you this morning as well is because um, I've been looking on YouTube this morning to make myself feel better watch videos and and seek help in just 
watching people that I enjoy watching and I love watching Zoella and I love watching Tanya Burr and I love watching Hannah Mags, I've already said that in another video. Watching these girls makes me really happy. Um, Carly Bible as well actually in the States. I was watching a Tanya Burr this, uh, video this morning, a Tanya Burr tutorial on the spring makeup look and I decided I would recreate it because I just had a bit of time on my hands this morning and I wanted to do it. So that's the reason why my makeup is a little intense. I don't normally give myself big old cat eyes uh, for a day look. Um, but you know, it's nice to just give it a whirl sometimes. In my other, some other videos that I've shot, I think I look quite a lot better. Um, the lighting in my bathroom, because it's less harsh, I actually look, um, my skin looks nicer. But do you know what? I can't sit down in the bathroom and <laughs> Um, when I'm filming and it's too hard to stand up now and film a big old video with my big belly so um, I have to sacrifice the fact that my skin doesn't really look very nice in these videos um, because I can sit on my bed and film for you. <laughs> ah! um, okay I'll show you the belly just for the sake of you know, so that you can see where I'm at with my pregnancy, because people do that, don't they, on pregnancy vlogs? <laughs> ah! oh! Right, okay. This is my belly. Oh, this is another really depressing thing, not having any clothes. So here she is, having a little girl. Oh, shall I show you the actual belly? Ooh! Big old belly! Um... And uh, yeah, not having anything to wear, it's really depressing. I know these aren't like world problems, um, but uh, it's really hard at the moment to find a way of looking cute because I just don't fit anything anymore. It's really depressing. <sighs> I've, I'm fed up with trying to wear jumpers that will fit over my belly. As you can see, it's huge and there's just no way. So now I'm resorting to just wearing these tiny little ones that I've had, that I actually already have in my wardrobe. And they don't cover my belly in the slightest. But do you know what? I'm just fed up of trying because I can't, because I'm failing miserably. So sod that. I'm just going to wear tiny cardigans. Uh, anyway, all right, I'm guessing now I will leave you all for your lovely Wednesday. Um, it's really sunny outside today, uh, which makes everything better. I think that's the reason why I feel a little bit better today. The sun is shining. That makes a huge, huge difference. Oh, I really love the sun and I'm so glad it's out. So I'm going to go out and enjoy it and take Kaya to the park after school. All right, guys, um, I'm really sorry if I've really, you know, Bent your ears. Is that the expression? Bent your ears? Uh, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> um, if I've talked your ears off, I'm really sorry. Thank you for being lovely. That's the end of this video, my pregnancy update at 27 weeks. Let me know if you're feeling rubbish in your pregnancy as well, and we can chat if you want. All right, I love you. Bye, everyone.